Hello everyone. First of all, I'm sorry for not being able to speak loudly today because my children are sleeping in the other room and I'm making this video at night. Um, today I want to, to introduce my new old lens. It's not a new lens, it's an old lens. I got it from a second uh, hand store and um, it's the Sigma, another Sigma lens. This is my second Sigma lens. Uh, it's the Sigma 7300mm lens. I think all of you know this lens this is a um, very cheap lens, it's uh, very affordable. Some of you would say, what? So bad? Not sure. I saw a lot of reviews about this lens talking about that. This, is, this lens is not sharp. Uh, it's not fast lens because start at f5.6. So the reason that I'm making this video today at home and I'm not flagging, flagging outside. Uh, I did that actually. I <laughs> went... Uh, I went out something like one week ago, it was a foggy morning and it was, it was so nice and I went out with only one lens which is a 7300mm lens uh, and I made a video at that day but I don't know what was that problem as I uh, came back home I found that my videos uh, have no sound uh, unfortunately I don't know maybe the, uh, the battery of my old mic because I got the uh, road uh, video mic uh, my old mic maybe uh, the problem was met with the uh, battery I I had an, ep an empty battery <laughs> unfortunately and I didn't know that only after making all the video and coming back home and I found it <laughs> I have no sound uh, so today I will show you some photos that I made that day and uh, I will talk with you about you know this lens and using this lens in landscape and woodland photography so i think the best way to make it easy for you i will uh, talk about two situations when is when is this lens good for you and and when it's not good for you if you are like me always with a tripod and you don't care about uh, having a slow shutter speed this lens is not for you if you are planning to shoot anything which is moving fast like a bird a car um, uh, an animal for example or something like that you can't use this lens you can use this lens if you are not going um, to think about the f-stop for example if you are like me I don't take photos um, in landscape in terms of landscape photography I don't take photos um, under f9 or f8 f13 something like that if you want a lens which a very with a very shallow depth of field for example something like f2.8 to help you to have a very high shutter speed this lens is not for you this lens is good for you if you are like me which is the main reason that i got this lens when i want to take a photo in for example in any place and i look f very far away and i feel that i can make a very good composition from that for example from that scene or something like that but i can't um, take a photo of that scene because it's very far away and I can get this scene obviously with my ultra wide angle lens and also with my 50 millimeter lens I need something more than 100 or 200 millimeter lens and that's why I got this lens but at the same time as I said I don't care about my shutter speed I will not take photos handheld at all I always use my tripod and I found it very good for me it's also not for you if you are uh, taking photos only handheld and in low light situations and you don't like me you don't like to um, raise your ISO in the most cases you will have blurry photos so I want to talk about a small point in this photo and the reason that I took this photo at 100 millimeter um, this street is not a woodland or a nature area this is very small street in the city in that inside the city and in the link side of this street you can find a lot of a lot of uh, um, cars on the street and a lot of buildings a lot of distractions and on the other side there's you know a lot of people walking with their dogs or something like that. i think this is the main reason of using a zoom lens for example something like 100 or 200 millimeter or 300 millimeter is to disclude the distraction because uh, if I want to take the same photo, for example, with 18 millimeters or something like that, I can't disclude all these distractions, which is the, the cars, 
the other buildings and the people which are uh, walking or something like that and I think this is the reason number one of using <laughs> I think this is the reason number one of using a zoom lens to disclude all distractions which, which you don't want uh, to be in the composition so let's see another photo this is the same place and this is exactly 108 of the, uh, 1 8 of the second f9 and 122 millimeters and as you can see i zoom into the same reason to disclude all the distraction i just uh, like this four uh, trees together and this big tree at the foreground and i have these four trees at the background so here is another photo i didn't make any editing for this photo it's when 15 of the second f9 and something like 200 millimeters which means i think something like 300 millimeters on a full frame camera or a full frame sensor i mean and as you can see right here from the video which i was flagging without sound <laughs> unfortunately you can see how i was standing far away and I just zoom in to take only the chair and the tree and to disclude all the distraction. Maybe I have some distraction in the foreground here. Mm, that's why maybe I will choose 4x5. Mm, something like that. Yeah, I think something like that would be better. Uh, because I don't want a lot of distractions here in the... Uh, ground and the reason that I took the photo like that I I was far away and I zoom in as I said to disclude all the distraction if I want to take uh, This photo with my ultra wide angle for example between 10 and 20 millimeters and to stand In front of the chair there will be a lot of distraction I will have a foreground and a background and the tree would be and I think I will have also the sky obviously because it's an ultra wide angle lens but I want uh, in this photo to disclude the sky, disclude a lot of distraction. I just want the tree and the chair like that in this composition. So here is another photo. It's also 140 of the second F9 and 122 millimeters. And here is the same situation. There's a lot of dis distraction on the both side of the tree. If I want to take uh, this tree with something like 50 millimeters or 20 millimeters i will have a lot of distractions a lot of small trees and something like that and that's why i took the photo far away and i zoom in but unfortunately the fog mm, is not so heavy and you can see in the background there's some distraction elements in the background this is the uh, original photo the raw file and this is after editing the photo uh, the last one for today, this photo here. And this is the raw file of this photo. And after editing, as you can see, all the photos are so flat because of having uh, a lot of fog that day. And this is after editing, this is not very good photo, but I was just trying to take, you know, only this tree so as i said if you are not a woodland photographer if you are not a landscape photographer if you are not a slow photographer like me always on a tripod i make everything so slow i focus manually and i do everything so slow if you are not like that you may have a lot of problems using this lens if you need a fast shutter speed if you need to f follow a car for example car photography or something like that sport photography you need a very fast shutter speed in all light conditions and you don't like to take uh, your iso high this lens is not for you i'm saying that mm, honestly but for me i like this lens a lot i am happy that i have now the range 7300 millimeters and um, uh, now I, in my bag i have the ultra wide angle sigma ultra wide angle the 1020 i have the prime lens the 50 millimeter lens and i have this the 70 300 millimeters and i think i have a lot of things that i need if i want to go in a photography trip for example 
I have this lens for a very far away scene, a very far away mountain or something like that and I have my ultra wide angle lens for you know landscape photos with a foreground background or something like that for a very uh, wide scenes or uh, seascapes or something like that so I hope that uh, this video was uh, helpful for you I hope I could uh, help you with taking the decision if this photo uh, this photo this lens is good for you or not um, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you are not already a subscriber and thank you very much for watching see you after two weeks hello See you next week, after two weeks.